Hello there, my name is Richard McMunn from the interview training website, passmyinterview.com. And in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to pass a final interview. So if you have a final interview coming up for any role or any organization whatsoever, make sure you stay tuned because I will help you to be successful. Now, if you are new to this channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button because I am on a mission to help you pass your interview and also to help you progress throughout your career. And I can only do that if you are subscribed. And please make sure you hit that like button because that tells me you find the content useful and it also motivates me to create more content for you. Thank you very much. So let's get straight into this presentation and I'm gonna teach you how to pass your final interview. So to begin with, what is a final interview? Well, a final interview is used to confirm that you are the right person for the job. Therefore, it is imperative that you don't treat it as a formality. Don't think to yourself, I've got a final interview, I'm guaranteed to get this job, because that is certainly not the case. Yes, the employer is very interested in hiring you, but the final interview is used to confirm that you are the right person. And on that basis, there is likely to be more people, different people at the final interview than there were at the first interview. There could be two, three, or even four people at your final interview. So the interviewer wants to get a second opinion. They want other people in the room to decide whether you are the right person or not for this particular role. So it's very important that you prepare fully for a final interview as if you would do for a first interview. So I now want to give you eight really important tips for passing your final interview. Make sure you take notes because each of the following tips is going to help you to land your dream job. Final interview tip number one, make sure you research the company some more before you go along to the final interview. My advice is to make sure you find out something interesting about their company that has attracted you to work for them. So when they say to you, what motivates you to work for our organization, you can give something unique and something genuine that has attracted you to their company. Final interview tip number two, Make sure you take along with you to the final interview your resume or your CV. Take it along with you in a nice presentation folder, something that demonstrates that you have high standards and you are professional. And you should also take along with you any evidence you have, written evidence, of how you have performed in previous roles. So written evidence could include details of where you have completed difficult and challenging projects, and also where you have collaborated with other people to achieve difficult tasks. So take along with you your resume or CV, and also where possible, include any evidence of previous high work performance. Final interview tip number three. This is a really good one. Take along with you two written references from people who recommend you for the role. Now, of course, you are not going to get a reference from your employer until you have been offered the job. But but think about people you know within your professional network who are likely to recommend you for the position. Get them to write a short note saying that they think you will be a perfect fit for the role and take those references along with you. There is nothing more powerful than a written recommendation from someone who says you are the right person for the role. Final interview tip number four. This is very important, but it is often overlooked by people because they think the final interview is a formality. It's really important that you still dress professionally for your final interview. How you dress and how you present yourself during your final interview says a lot about your intentions and it also demonstrates that you care about this role very much. So make sure you dress professionally and you also demonstrate good manners throughout your job interview. Final interview tip number five. At some stage during your final interview, I recommend you tell the interviewers that you really want this job. Remember, you have to sell yourself. You will be up against other people. So I believe it's important that you demonstrate lots of enthusiasm for this position. Show that you are passionate about getting this job. So I would be saying at some stage during the final interview, whilst I appreciate you are interviewing other candidates, I genuinely want this role. I genuinely believe 
believe I am the right person for the position and I genuinely believe I can contribute for a long time into the future and help you to achieve your commercial goals. That's a great thing to say. It shows that you have enthusiasm and passion for the position, which is really important. Final interview tip number six. It is really important that you prepare three smart questions to ask at the end of the final interview. Now, once the final interview comes to a close, the interview panel are going to say to you, that's the end of the interview. Do you have any questions for us? And my advice is to only ask questions that show that you care about their organization. So the first question you could ask is, how do you see the company evolving over the next few years? This tells me that you want to stay working for them for a long period of time and you are also interested in the development of the company. Question number two to ask at the end of your final interview is, What's the culture like within this company? That shows that you understand that in order for an organization to be effective, it needs to have a positive working culture. And you are demonstrating by asking that question that you want to find out what goes on in the organization and how people operate. And you are also curious about the values that they expect their staff to adhere to. So that's a great question to ask. What's the culture like within the company? And the third and final question to ask at the end of your final interview is, what advice would you give to the successful candidate who wants to excel in the role? This is a great thing to ask because it demonstrates that you are the type of person who is open to feedback and you are willing to take on board their advice. That's a great thing to ask at the end of your interview. What advice would you give to the successful candidate who wants to excel in the position? Final interview tip number seven. Now, often during final interviews, the interviewer will give you the opportunity to have a look around their organization. They might say to you, once the interview is finished, would you now like to come and have a look around the company? If they give you that opportunity, make sure you say yes. And when you walk around, introduce yourself to the other team members and ask them questions. You could say, how long have you worked here? You could say, I've heard some great things about this company. Do you enjoy your role? So make sure you are polite and you put yourself across in a positive manner when meeting other team members within the organization. Final interview tip number eight. Now in a second, I am going to give you some final interview questions to prepare for. These are really important. But just quickly, tip number eight is to make sure that once the final interview is over, you send a follow-up email thanking the interviewers for their time. Now, I have brought along with me today the exact email that I recommend you send once your final interview is over. So here it is. Start off your email with dear sir or dear madam, RE, thank you following the final interview today. That's the subject heading, thank you following the interview today. And then the main body of the email is to say something like this. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for interviewing me for the position today. I am genuinely excited about the prospect of working for your organization. If you need any further information, details or evidence to help you make a decision, please do not hesitate to contact me. I look forward to hearing from you. Yours faithfully and then sign off with your full name. And don't forget to put your contact telephone number at the bottom of the email. So that's a great tip for making sure you stand out further during your final interview and you also show really good manners. So make sure you send a follow-up email immediately after the final interview has finished. What I am now going to do is to give you a number of final interview questions to prepare for. Now, don't be surprised if some of the questions from your initial interview are duplicated during the final interview. Remember, there's likely to be different people at the final interview and they may ask you the same questions. So the first final interview question you need to prepare an answer to is, tell me about yourself. Now, if you want a brilliant answer to this question, make sure you click the link at the top of the video right now and it will take you through to another video on YouTube where I teach you a cracking answer to that final interview question, tell me about yourself. The second final interview question that I recommend you prepare for is, 
What motivates you? That's a brilliant question. Because a lot of people will talk about what they get up to outside of work, but that's not the way to answer this question. So when they say to you, what motivates you? Talk about how you are driven to succeed at work. And also talk about the fact that outside of work, you have your own personal and life goals. And the only way that you will achieve those is by working to a very high standard whilst you are at work. So consider carefully what motivates you and what drives you to succeed in your work role. The next interview question that I recommend you prepare for is, what are your interests outside of work? Or they may simply phrase it as, what are your hobbies and interests? Now, either way, you must be very careful how you answer this question. Do not say, that when you are outside of work, you are going out and having a great time with your friends, letting your hair down. This is your opportunity to show the interviewer that you are somebody who is a family person, somebody who takes good care of themselves, and also somebody who is focused on personal development. So I would be answering this question by saying that I like to spend time with my family and my friends. I like going to the gym or maintaining physical activities a few times a week because that improves my concentration levels at work. And I am also spending time learning something new, like for example, learning to play a musical instrument or reading self-development books or taking online courses. So those are great things to say about what you do outside of work because it shows that you're a stable person and somebody who takes good care of their health and well-being and their personal development. The next final interview question that I want you to prepare an answer to is, how can you contribute to our organization? That's a great question and it puts you on the spot. How are you going to contribute to their organization? I would be focusing on saying that I have the necessary skills and qualities already that are a match for the job description. And remember, the job description is a blueprint for the role. And if you've got the skills and qualities to excel in the position, that's music to the ears of the interviewer. You could also say that you have a proven track record of achievement, and that's how you're gonna help their organization to succeed moving forward. And if you do say that you have a proven track record of achievement, make sure you back up your claims with specific examples of where you have done so in previous roles. And you could also say that you will bring a level of experience that's going to be beneficial to their company and to help them move forward into the future. And the next question that I want you to prepare an answer to is, what are your salary expectations? Now, to help you negotiate the highest salary possible within your final interview, I have created a brilliant video, an example where I go into an interview and I negotiate a salary, the salary that I want. And if you'd like to watch that video, click that link at the top of this video right now, and it will take you through to my video on YouTube where I teach you how to negotiate a salary. Make sure you check that out. Now, if you'd like to learn more answers to final interview questions, make sure you click the link in the description below the video because that will take you through to another video right here on YouTube. There's lots of them that are gonna help you to pass your final interview. I work through loads of final interview questions and I give you top scoring answers, scripted answers that you can use in your interview. Make sure you check that out right now. So we've now come to the end of the video and I hope you found those tips and those sample questions useful in your pursuit for preparing for your final interview. Make sure you check out those other resources. They are going to help you to be the standout candidate. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Please do hit that like button. I very much appreciate your support. And you can also connect with me on LinkedIn. I've put my LinkedIn link in the description below the video, and it's always great to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. Thank you so much for watching and for paying attention, and I wish you all the best for passing your final interview. Have a brilliant day.